What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be playing through the brand new 30 stamina Fortnite which is yet again another Brook Fortnite. I think this is like the third Brook Fortnite that has actually arrived on One Piece Treasure Cruise. It's pretty crazy we get so many of these Brook Fortnites but this Fortnite in particular is actually really really good. So there are two units you can actually possibly get throughout this Fortnite dungeon being Brook and his manager We'll go through what these units do after we complete the dungeon, but let's talk about the skill books or the manuals that you can get. So you can get, obviously, Legend Bartolomeo, so that's pretty cool. He's got a pretty good special, so definitely want to try and max him if you have him. Uh, Rare Recruit Killer, 3-day 2-year Nami is also a good one, 3-day 2-year Frankie, Time Skip. Uh, Usopp and also Time Skip Brook, both of those units are a must max if you do have them. Uh, 5 plus Sanji is also a really, really good unit to max out because of his fixed damage. And then the other two are story mode characters in Story Sen Goku and Story John Giant. I don't actually know what they actually do for their specials, so I'm not too sure if they are worth maxing out. But those skill books are there if you do want to go ahead and get them. But the condition for this Fortnite is if you bring a Straw Hat character, they will get uh, 9 turns less cooldown, I believe, and also 1.5 times stats so this is the team that we're going to go ahead and bring utilizing a pure free spirit team with uh, the double Neptunes time skip Luffy wicker raid Sabo and also the Colosseum Kinemon uh, the only specials that we actually need is we need wicker up by stage 4 because we need to use wicker's special to go ahead and knock out all of the surrounding characters and we need wicker's take a uh, stage 2 special uh, specifically her second stage or above so we might actually have to take one turn of stall, but luckily enough, we do have access to Kinemon here, which is actually pretty cool, allowing us to knock down the cooldowns of our characters by one turn. Uh, and we are using a Neptune team specifically because during this whole event, it is double stamina, or not double stamina, but double uh, pirate XP on extra islands. So when you run a, a run and you do times two stamina and you have the double Neptune, you get so much experience, it is crazy. So you guys will see at the end of the video how much XP that you can actually possibly get from doing this Fortnite on times two stamina with the double Neptune. But as I said, we do need Wicker's stage two special up by the time we reach the stage four room because Brook is actually there on stage four and he will go ahead and uh, increase our unit's attack. I don't know what the actual attack multiplier is, but he does increase our attack right here. And then all these characters here, I believe, have 8 health. So Wicker's Stage 1 special will not knock everyone out. So her Stage 2 special will indeed knock everyone out, which is quite nice. Uh, and the, you can find the Hidden Boss on... I was just going to say, you can find him on any stage other than the 4th stage and the last stage. But we actually do find him here, which is pretty cool. What he does is he does increase your orb effectiveness for four turns. So that's fine. Hopefully we can carry that into the final room. I don't think we actually will though, but if you did, that's actually pretty awesome because then you can have an orb boost and a type boost, uh, which is nice. This team can take down the last stage without having to worry about carrying a uh, carrying the orb boost. It does take more than one turn in order to kill him, but you can actually take down the dungeon uh, even without the orb boost anyway. So uh, the reason why we have Time Skip Luffy as a sub on this team is basically for this final room. This final room here, Brook will go ahead and lock your orbs for one turn, and he'll go ahead and change all your orbs into quick, and I believe he despairs your captain for three turns. So having level three anti-despair is definitely recommended for this dungeon. Do not go ahead and orb manipulate. If you orb manipulate, he will change all your orbs into block orbs, and remember, because your orbs are locked, you're going to be keeping those block orbs uh, forever. So... Make sure that you uh, do not all manipulate, so don't use your Kinemon special here. And then basically, all we need to do is just attack, and it should take us two turns to beat this guy. I actually haven't attacked this guy with an all boost active, so I don't think we'll be able to kill him in one turn. But we're still going to be able to do a lot of damage to him here. He just does damage on that first turn, so it's fine. You don't actually need to worry about it. And then we can take our time uh, on this second turn here, and then just take out Brook which is awesome. So, uh, very, very easy Fortnite, to be perfectly honest. As long as you are bringing along some of your Straw Hat characters, you're going to be having a pretty easy time with this. And bringing a friend Time Skip Luffy is recommended uh, because his special ability ha has a lower cooldown. He gets more stats. And that special is just super, super awesome on that last stage because you cannot all manipulate. So, uh, definitely Time Skip uh, Luffy is going to be really, really awesome. And as you saw there, I don't know, I kind of skipped it a little bit quickly, but you get 50,000 XP for running this dungeon 
Dragon with the Neptune and also with the Double Stamina and all of that stuff. So it's really, really good. I highly recommend to go ahead and run Neptune if you guys do have him. But let's talk about these units that you can get in this Fortnite dungeon. So this is the, the final unit, Brook. So his special ability will max at seven turns. So really, really low cooldown. And it boosts the attack of free spirit characters by 1.5 times and makes badly matching and block orbs not reduce damage for one turn. So it will basically treat negative orbs and block orbs as neutral orbs for one turn. So this is a pretty okay special. Um, the fact that it's a really low cooldown for a 1.5 boost is pretty awesome. And the fact that badly matching orbs and block orbs won't be treated as uh, as actual negative orbs is pretty awesome. This is very reminiscent of the Rare Recruit Lafitte. He does a very, very similar thing. So, uh, we haven't seen too many uses for that type of special thus far in Treasure Cruise, but the fact that he's still a 1.5 boost on a 7 turn cooldown is very, very good. And his captain ability is nothing to really, you know, care about. It's just a 2 times quick booster and then a 1.3 times uh, free spirit health booster. So nothing too great there. But let's talk about the actual hidden boss who actually is pretty useful. Uh, the long arm tribe uh, tribesman, um, the brook manager guy, uh, his special ability is pretty awesome. So it maxes at 13 turns and it delays all enemies for a turn and adds 0.2 to the chain multiply for one turn. So this guy is actually pretty awesome. If you guys do go ahead and farm this Fortnite, I would recommend maxing him out because he is a strength unit as well, which does kind of matter in some instances. And he's a delayer and he adds 0.2 to the chain. So he's going to overall increase your damage and also just delay the enemy. So this guy's really, really strong. Uh, I would definitely recommend maxing him out. And the brook's really good too. Uh, and the skill books are awesome as we went through at the start of the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.